So I got my EFNB when I was mobilized to Germany. Uh, just two years ago, I was a senior captain and I was able to get my badge on my first try in Germany. I knew it was one of the hardest and most prestigious badges to get in the Army. Uh, and I thought even with the little training that I had going into the, the event, uh, that I would try my hardest and do my best and, and try and, and get this badge. The train-up week was the hardest training the Army had ever put me through. Uh, so at the end of that week, I decided I was going to study and work hard and, and earn the badge um, and try my hardest uh, during testing week. I would stay up late at night in the barracks with my red light and, uh, and study the, the manual that they give you. Um, and then I would practice uh, in the latrines late at night, uh, putting on my gas mask and putting on my Kevlar and making sure uh, my weapon didn't fall to the ground. I'm really proud of my EFMB. It proves my commitment and investment in training as a soldier. Medical soldiers should go out for their EFMB because even if you don't pass, it's some of the best training that you'll receive in the Army. When you do earn your badge, you'll be part of an elite group of soldier medics and be proud of this badge for the rest of your career and the rest of your life.